Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Final Fantasy III, the Pixel Remaster. So let's get it loaded up. Alrighty, and where are we? Let's see, well we're in dust right now, but we need to go uh, back over here. Where is it? Where's that cave? Um... That was down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that cave? There it is. Oops. Alright, here we go. So, Une's Shrine. Hey, a parrot. Wake up, Uni. Uh, let's play the loot. Maybe that'll wake you up. The sonorous strumming of the lute reverberated around the room and passed into the world of dreams. Wake up, dog! Alrighty, uh, thank you for finishing the song. Just wanted to let that uh, just play out because it's so melodious and kind of long. Usually, your like jingles in a in a video game last what like seven to ten seconds. Like this is like almost a well, it seemed like it was almost a full half minute. Probably it was only like fifteen seconds, but whatever. Une is awake. All right, Une is a classical piano player. <laughs> what is this music? This is groovy. Like, <laughs> like seriously, I love that. Uh, I think Nobuo Uematsu did the uh, um, the music for all the Final Fantasies, right? Let's let's just look this up on the smartphone for a second. Uh. Pretty sure it was Nobuo. Yeah, it was Nobuo. He did all of them. I thought so. This is just <clears throat> the one that everyone forgets about. So it's like maybe someone else did it. <laughs> but like, oh, this is great. The, the the music variety of the different like moods uh, and genres that they throw in here is it's pretty fantastic. Doing a few laps to get the blood going. All right. Overseer of the World of Dreams at your service. Well, Une. Oh, whoops. The real world is impressive. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Zandi. We need a ship strong enough to transport us up and over the mountain ranges. Ancient ruins to the north. Let's be off. Of a vulnerable old mate, a venerable old mage like me. <laughs> uh, nice. I like how they use the modern vernacular. You're coming with? Let's see. Uh, where do we go from here? We just. Yay, the Fang of Fire. Yeah. Okay, so we do need all the Fangs to get past those statues. Okay. You will need a formidable ship. Don't dawdle. <clears throat> Good to know. Is this all we need to do here? Uh, just get him? Uh, I think so, yeah. And then... Okay, we need to... Uh, 
Uh... Oh, now is when we go... Okay, now is when we go here. Yeah. Submerge. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I could not remember when we were supposed to come here. Sunken cave, here we are. A dreary violin music. Okay, uh, I guess let's try fire. <clears throat> a doze mare? Oh, I wanted another golem staff. Let's, uh, let's actually leave the cave and go back to Saronia. We should have enough money to... Yeah, we have 83,000 gills, so... Uh... We should have enough money to, um... Get the, uh... Let's see... I think it's up here, right? That has the weapon shops. Yeah. They're still playing the triumphant music. <laughs> They're still having a party, even though I'm already gone. Oh, yeah, it's not this one. This is the Spears Derp. Okay, let's run over. Keep up, Une. Alright. Um, <clears throat> I do want a Rune Staff, just for the purpose of... And I want a Light Rod, too. Actually, no, I don't care. Um, Blizzaga might be very useful, though, if I don't have anything else to, like, do. So let's get a rune staff to use. Um, and use cast break when using battle. So... Actually, yeah, we'll just, we'll just do a rune staff. We won't do two, two golem staffs. Never mind. <clears throat> because it has to be equipped. Um, 88. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now we've got our rune staff. Cast Blizzaga. Okay, now let's just go. I think we can go this way, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do the second cave for real, Zers. Sea Witch, alright. Uh, fire should be fairly effective, right? I can just, uh... Use the golem staff, yeah? Yeah, that does some pretty decent damage. Nice. Okay, let's get some chests. Diamond shield? Not... 19 of them, holy... Alright, well, let's make sure we are very careful about not... Missing any. Don't amount this music, though. Very nice. Fender, um, technically it's better. It's a lot better, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do double defenders. That blood sword is amazing because of its healing properties, but I guess we can just equip it, like re-equip it as as needed. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh man, jeez, yeah, 1400 damage. And these aren't even end game classes. Like, these aren't even the best classes in the game, and we're just ripping things apart because our job level is so high. Hmm. Olog. Olog high? Olog high. Is that how you. Is that supposed to be crab in Japanese? My Japanese isn't all that great. It's been a while since I've studied or practiced. Dual tomahawk. A uh, large double-edged axe. Double-edged axe. Double-edged. <laughs> makes sense. Cure. Uh, Luther and Sarina. Why are they picking on my mages? Like, seriously, they're in the back row. This RNG is nonsense right now. Attack my knight, for heaven's sakes. Arctic wind, nice. Air knife, diamond mail, Loki harp, and diamond bracers. Uh. Air knife. Ooh. Yeah. I think it's safe to say we can finally sell our leather caps. We held on to those for a long time, though. A ridiculous amount of time. Like, seriously. It was kind of dumb how long we held on to our leather, leather caps. Uh, I think power bracers, yeah, is what we already have. We want them over that, yeah. And then... Okay, yeah, we don't... Diamond gloves, elixir. Yes, we like elixirs. Well, I'm glad a lot of the chests are... Oh, hello. All together. Man, lay off Luther. Seriously. Dang, those swords are amazing. They're not even the best in the game. Uh, let's see. Ancient Sword is not as good as the, the Defenders. That's kind of sad. That uh, gear we... Wait a minute, is there... Ah, we missed it. Dang it. Yeah, on the far left I saw the tiniest crack in the wall, and sure enough, <clears throat> I overlooked a secret room. I love this golem staff. This is awesome. Oh, another achievement. Yay. Oh, monsters. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess attack. No, no big Odilo, right? Got a fair amount of health. Oh, I healed him? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, that wasn't good. Holy smoke, yeah, that was not good at all. Uh, I forgot that you can... You can heal the undead and it hurts them, so... If... So if I have a, a lifesteal weapon or a... Yeah, lifesteal or life on hit... And I think it's, it must be life steal or life on. Is it life on head or life steal? Because it, it, it makes a difference. Um, monsters! Uh, oh. Crap. 
All right, please don't eat me. Like seriously, multiply, eh? I haven't had that come up before. Dang, ten ten. All right, Serena went up a level. A Triton hammer, more monsters. Death claws. Ooh. Oh, I need to heal Serena. Dang. Didn't even see that she was almost uh, lo that she was getting low. Reflective mail. Fantastic. Uh oh, it's for magic. Maybe we'll have a magic boss. Yeah, I don't know. Power bracers. Nah. Yeah, Rion and Tenzin are fine. <clears throat> uh, Paraton. Oh, I need to. I don't have the Blood Sword anymore. <clears throat> of course, I can always equip it again. Blood Lance, yeah. To get my health up. Did we get all the chests? Almost. We only got four left. All right, um... Attack. I guess we can just keep the blood sword equipped for now. Because that, that'll save a lot of healing. Nice, here we go. Black hole. Creates a rift into another dimension. All right. Uh, do we have the diamond helm equipped? Yeah, we do. All right, so we've got all of the chests. Twenty hits. Jeez. Uh, where do I go from here, actually? Was this a side room? Uh... Let's, uh, examine the mini-map here. Okay, so we came down that way. There's nowhere else to go. I thought there was a quest item here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's just for gear. I thought there was an actual important item here. But hey, uh, we got some cool stuff. We... Oh, those are ugly beasts. Okay, never mind. Or not a quest item, but I thought there was a key item here. Maybe not. Gave us good experience. We've got, after this fight, there's one more place to go that we'll go in this episode, and then we'll call it. And, let's see. I'm not going to go all the way underwater. Go all the way there underwater. Okay, uh, so if we cross this continent over here to the very, oh, uh, we should have just gone east, whatever. Um... It's under here somewhere, right? That we need to go. Mmm, or not. Let 
Maybe we can just fly there. Aha, there we go. Yeah, and never mind. I thought I thought we there was like we had to come underwater here and yeah, never mind. We just land in the swamp. Okay, let's do this. Ancient cave or ancient ruins, whatever it is. Whoa. Uh blizzard. We should probably uh rest. Rest uh, to replenish. Um, what's his face? Is uh, Luther's Luther's spell points? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go to Saronia or yeah, Saronia's closest. Oops. Ah, there's an inn right here, right? Yeah. Nope. Just armor shop. Okay. Never mind. All right, there we go. Three twenty for a night. All righty. All right, now let's go there. So you take the river up this way, right? Nope, this way, this way, this way, this way. Now we are. Oh, hello. Uh, let's just attack items. We're just gonna use the rune staff. Yeah, I like the, the or not the rune staff. Sorry, the golem staff. It's fairly effective on pretty much everything. <clears throat> I don't know of anything that resists it. Other than monsters that are resistant to all magic. Hey, what's up? Oh, alright. Well, I bet Une can do something about that. Oh, eaters, okay. Fire is usually pretty universally effective. All right. Okay. So you just fall asleep and then, like, imagine it happening? That's pretty powerful. So you have, um... It wouldn't be telekinesis, it would be... I don't I don't know. Psychokinesis? Yeah, that's pretty powerful. You can only defeat the ancient statues guarding Zande's circus tower. Circus tower, really? The four fangs, okay. Anything else you have to say? There are many cracks and crevices in the mountains of north of Amur. One of them leads to the Cave of Shadows where the Fang of Earth rests. Sandi never understood what a great gift he was given by Master Noah. There was nothing more precious than a mortal life. Well, obviously he doesn't think so. Uh, yeah, we are not in the cave place that he is mentioning. We are... Um, we're exploring other places before we go there. Ow. All right. Reflective mail, don't need it. Oh, an eater. All right. <laughs> uh.
Oh, hey, we have got shops. All the images we've unearthed, that's just site show. I got giant. Oh, yeah, we do need the, to be here. That's right. Ah, I keep forgetting that this is where we have to come, I think, for the uh, invincible. Unscrupulous merchants keep breaking into the ancient ruins and want stealing artifacts to sell. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> What do we got? Blood sword, ancient sword, defender, Medusa arrow. Hmm. Okay. I guess this would be stuff you buy if what you didn't get it before for some reason. Black robe, white robe. Thank you very much. Uh. I can equip the thief with diamond gloves. Uh, yeah. Magic defense. Not ah, sure why not. Black robe. Fantastic. Yeah. <clears throat> well, they might be, uh, <laughs> selling me. Uh, stuff they loot they found in the ruins, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about it. Azrael, I think these guys can multiply as well, but doesn't matter. We can out DPS their multiplication efforts. Just five chests total. All right, let's check out all these rooms. Right. Rune Bell. Eh. If we were a Geomancer, that would be something we would want. Hooray! Another chest, a chakra band, I think. That's a uh, black belt. Yeah, that's for a black belt. That's kind of an old and outdated piece of gear. Oh, good. More of these guys. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder uh, when they divide. Do they... Yep, they lose part of their hit points. More chests. Black Belt G. Alright, let's go. We've been in this room, right? Multiply, alright. So multiply duplicates, but divide makes them use part of their hit points. Yeah, I don't care if they do this. <clears throat> like it'll just it'll just help me get uh, more uh, job levels. Alright, very good. And experience, too. Dang, that cure spell is pretty awesome. Fairy claws. <laughs> yeah, I don't need those. Don't get me wrong, the black belt was a good was a good is a good is a good class and was fun to play, but such a such a glass cannon. Uh, 
didn't make up enough for the, uh, the, the thief. The thief was definitely a better trade-off. <sighs> so anyway, let's continue onward, and we got all the chests. Okay. Oh, a back attack by dude bros. Oh, man. Get him. Lots of dividing enemies here. Oh, crap. Save them. Ouch. Oh wow, she resisted that pretty well. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, a Paralysis. Oh, nice. Man. Our knight and thief make life so much easier. Well, our whole party is just solid. And I know that their job levels are a lot higher than, like, the uh, Dragoon and the Black Belt and the... What else do we have? The bard and you know everything. Uh, yeah, the fact that their their job levels were all were already good enough, and and they're just good classes, right? They're just good classes. The knight, thief, the black mage, white mage. They're just good classes. I think I've mentioned that the white and black mage are completely viable to take to the very end of the game if you want to, do, you know, do the final boss fight. Uh, that's um, yeah, that's that's totally doable. Um, like this party that we have, we could take through the end of the game if we wanted. It's you know, it's that solid. Uh, we're not going to, but we could. Yep, keep dividing and multiplying and stuff. Doesn't matter to me. Just more experience. Oh, nice. We have found the Invincible. That is fantastic. And... What do we got here? Huh. I'm guessing the Demon Mail is for Dragoons. Ashura. If uh, my knight can't equip it, who can? Oh look, scholar weapons. And I think I've got all these, yeah. Alright, nice. Where's the bed? Yeah, we need to rest. We're gonna take a nap. <laughs> Oh no. No, we're not summoning Fat Chocobo in our new clean and. Uh, yeah, clean and camped and tidy airship. <laughs> not that it would matter. We just sit in the room and sleep and ingest our items until we want him to regurgitate them back onto us. All right, the ship is ours, hooray! Who else is gonna take it, seriously? Oh man, look at that beast. The Invincible. Yeah, check out that music. Use the ladder when you want to disembark. 
press the confirm button to redline the engine so the ship can clear small mountains. Okay, that's cool. Sure, yeah. Alright then, follow me. Yep, I already did. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, stay out of my ship. <laughs> uh... All right. See you later, Uni. Or Une. All right. Fantastic. Can I save from here? Nope, I cannot. So, all aboard. All right. Uh... So I'm guessing How do I it says to get over the mountains. Huh, okay. Well I guess maybe it's not like that. But anyway, there's a town I'm looking for now. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Uh, am I even on the right continent? Yeah, I need to go... Do I need to go south? I think I need to go south. Yeah, I need to go south. Look at this monster. This thing is amazing. Boost! Yeah, I don't understand why it's not boosting over the mountains like it's supposed to. Because I need to get, I need to get in there. Do I need to, uh... There we go. Oh. So it's only a single chain that I can jump over. Okay, so maybe it's just right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, that just took a second to figure out. So this is the ship that, uh, or this is the place we need to go. Alrighty, so that will conclude this episode. And so we will enter Falgabard at the beginning of our next episode. And uh, we will continue onward. So until our next episode, so long for now.